Right, I'm on Warpath today. Some of you bastards have been sending me emails asking me what it was like living under Saddam. How on earth did I cope? Well, bugger off, you sad bastards. Do I send you emails asking you what it was like living under... living under... Thatcher, a, a John... John Minor? Is it John? The other one, anyway, the, the bastard Tory. No, I don't. You don't see me doing any of that. So bugger off back to searching for your bleeding behind scenes Lord of the Rings crap and leave me the hell alone. Go to Iraq. See what it's like for yourselves and stop cleaning up, clogging up my bloody inbox with all your... <coughs> yeah, right, I want it. Sorry about that, the cat. Stop clean, clogging up my bleeding inbox with all your... Oh, please, ask. tell it what it was like. Tell us what it was like living under Saddam. Was he really as much of a bastard as he say he was? Go to wrap yourselves, book a sleazy jet flight. But just remember, po pack a body bag when you go. You'll fucking need it. Oh, and by the way, I've got a message for Bush Lover 69. Change your bloody email, you pillock. I was getting all excited till I realised it was George Bush you loved. George Bush! Honestly. And quit telling me how much better off the Iraqis are after the invasion. You like it so much, take your bloody... Big fat American head out, you big fat American arse, and go live there for a week. Good luck coming back, by the way. I did get one nice email, though, from Adrian, 28, from Hull, I think it was. What an absolute hottie, absolute stunner that man is. Girls, get in queue. Anyway, you should see him. Sort of designer stubble you wouldn't mind giving your thigh burn, if you know what I mean. That reminds me, actually, I need to go down Offie and get myself a new razor for me, razor blade for my razor. So I can send Adrian that picture I promised him. Anyway, that's it, bastards. See you later.